Look at what I dug out of my attic, guys. Instant Pot. I've been on the road full time for this will be two years and I have never used this piece of equipment. <laughs> I don't know whether my solar or my uh, battery power will keep up. So today is the experiment. I'm going to be making chicken noodle vegetable soup. So I'll get this set up and then we'll get into the ingredients and we'll do some instant pot pressure cooker cooking. All right, here's what we got so far. We've got carrots, celery, couple potatoes, onion, some oregano, and some thyme, elbow macaroni, and somewhere I have some garlic I picked up earlier, so that'll be in here, salt and pepper, But we'll set up the Instant Pot like right now. Let's go over to Okay. There we are. 13.8 volts right now. It's off right now. So the moment of truth. I've got my onions put inside. And now we'll turn the saute on, which is right here. Okay, for 30, 30 minutes. So let's see what happens to the power. It's on saute, so it, there, now it's on. And the, still showing 13.8 for now I'll let you know when we got a, a change there chicken broth and this is what four cups or whatever there is in here so I might have to add a little bit of water maybe Right, one container of chicken broth. The rest, rest of my vegetables, the potatoes, the celery, the carrots, should have had corn. Give that a stir. One. Now the chicken is in strips, so I'll just put those in the way they are. And I'll make sure that those are covered with the liquid. Found everything. So now we'll do this for nine minutes. And it's gonna take some time to get up to pressure and everything, so it's going to be several minutes anyway so let's put the lid on front front forward and then we got to put it to uh, sealing instead of venting and we've got the instant pot here I've got everything in there now I've got the uh, uh, chicken broth, the potatoes, the carrots, the celery, uh, garlic, onion, seasoning, and it's on and it's... Hey guys, looks like we've got five minutes left. So I put it for eight, so three went by so far, and it took a minute or two to cut up to heat. 
and it's got 13.8 volts still it went up to 13.9 it never went down to 13.7 or anything uh, the it's now went down to four minutes the inverter came the the fan came on uh, several times it's off right now but uh, other than that there's no voltage fluctuation yet whatsoever on the all right L O came on L or L zero 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 came on indicating that it's now on cool down and it's still pressurized so it's going to slowly do the pressure itself but I can uh, like hurry it up by see there's a little pin right there you can see the pin when it drops down then the pressure you can is released and you can open the lid otherwise you can't open the lid at all uh, this is on uh, pressure if I move it over this way it'll release and blow steam out I don't want that to happen right now we'll let it it's gonna count down it's it's been for one minute now I'll go for 10 minutes or so and then I'll put a, a, a cloth over top of here and then release it so the steam doesn't go up on top underneath here voltage the voltage is 13.8 volts still all right guys here we are 11 minutes so I'm going to release the rest of the pressure on the, the steam there I'm looking for a towel I can put okay I'm just going to put this towel over there and then I'm going to release the whatever else steam is in there oh you need to smell this unbelievable oh man what a smell beautiful okay and like you said there's water and steam and everything still there okay let's put this aside somewhere oh wow you have got to see this oh all right guys it's too bad you can't smell this what's even worse you can't taste this <laughs> oh man because the chicken was um strips it's just a nice chunks link look at that look at that beauty anyway i put some milk in there um i didn't bother with the cornstarch it looks thick enough could even use a little bit of water yet or more chicken broth let's test it oh man is that good let's try a carrot great great experiment guys I think I can use the instant pot more often in my van here as long as it's a nice sunny day and you can see after the fact it's still 13.8 beautiful I can't complain about that at all there we go we got soup thank you guys for watching eh? I'm going to have some soup now